what's happening people it's your boy it's your boy rico the gearhead here uh with another episode now today um from our last video we talked about uh the daily routine that i usually have uh checking around the bike and stuff now today i'll actually i'm on my way to moto adv uh, to check out some few bikes that are there and uh i just stopped here at westland's uh, shell uh, petrol station to get some gas uh, to get some fuel uh, for my bike and i noticed something well i was hearing some kind of noise um coming in from the back but i couldn't tell where it was actually coming from turns out um my exhaust uh came off the bolt holding the exhaust came off now i've asked some uh kind of good mechanic here uh, he's lending me a hand uh he'll try to fix it uh, try to at least it uh, issue cars before i get uh the bolts to actually replace it there uh, now the bike is uh, uh the bike is still on sale going for 125,000 kenya shillings um the bike is in good running order as you can see uh, it looks good feels good rides good uh yeah so let's see how it goes Uh, man, there's so many good people out here. I do appear that I need to do Kachuani even. I'm on bow. But anyway, as long as my bike feels good, it's good. So in about 27 minutes, I'll be there. So maybe I might get some few things out of here. So until then, I'll see you on the road, I guess so we are on our way to moto adv kenya to see some of the bikes that they have out there so i guess i'll see you when i get there
looks like we are finally here. Uh, it's kind of a hidden place if you ask me. Well, looks like we're here. Seems like the place. So we are finally here at Africa Motorcycle Diaries and uh, as you can see these are all the bikes that you usually see uh, on the Facebook pages of the website and everything and everything that is posted in and around um, social media of course and also the website and also the internet. So I had a conversation with the, with the management of the store, or not of the store but of the, what do we call it? Uh, the, the dealership and that they were kindly they were gracious enough to let me feel and also try ask a few questions about some of the things that all of you guys have been asking and have been wondering about uh, African Motorcycle Diaries uh, they actually there's some interesting facts that I came to learn that I knew that either a lot of you people out there did not know they do or they have done or where they source their bikes from and uh, it will be an interesting video, it will be an interesting one for you to watch so you don't want to miss out on this. So if you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you're updated whenever we post a new episode. Now they have, these are all the bikes that they have right now, ranging from sport bikes to naked bikes to quad bikes to scooters. Uh, as one you can see this uh, poltricious uh, bike that is here as, as uh, K. Michaels likes to say. And uh, from the things that I've learned today, I'm going to be sharing them with you um, in, a in, in a moment. Now, one thing that you need to know about the bikes, uh, these bikes are all Kenyan registered, duty paid, everything that is required for a, a foreign bike to come into Kenya and be registered, they have done it. And that is also reflected on the price that's there. Now, the prices are not written on such as the tags. For example, this is a Ducati Monster 821. As you can see, it has it's a 2015 with a 14,053 miles, uh, I guess, or kilometers. I'm not sure, but uh, as you can see, there's no price tag on it. Uh, the reason being is actually the service here is actually good. Uh, it's tailored in a way that uh, the management can fully interact uh, with you, the customer, or the client, or the the aspiring rider, so that they can better understand that the bike, uh, which is best for you, or kind of the kind of bike that you might want now you might may be wondering you maybe come here and you want a sport bike or maybe even a cruiser and then after the interaction they usually understand that you see that the sport bike life is not for you maybe you're a cruiser person maybe you are even a naked person or a sport tourism person uh, that's where the interaction is there i'd say the service here is way better uh, than what you can see in like a place like uh, Captain Motors whereby everything is laid out there is little to no service at all especially if you're going to buy a, especially if you're going to buy a Benelli if it was a scooter not a scooter but a, if it was a, what can I call it if it was a maybe a Captain or whatever the, the other border product uh, bikes that you see out there maybe they would be different because those are the most selling bikes here but here at AD, uh, Moto ADV, they do things different. You are their first priority. That's why you come in first, and that's why the interaction is there. Uh, we see a ZX10R. Yeah, six ZX10R. Yeah, it's a ZX10R. Uh, it's a beautiful bike with a, the Yoshimura exhaust pipe there, carbon fiber there. We do have the Honda CB500F. We have the Kawasaki KLR650, a uh, 2008 model with the 21,086 miles. Now, one thing, one fun fact about this is that the bikes are sourced from uh, the US, particularly they do have a branch there. They, they are sourced from the US. That's why they have the low mileage because you know, the one thing that uh, the US people have a disadvantage of is a longer winter system. That's why they only ride their bikes mostly in summer. And uh, especially now with the pandemic going on, um, the bikes are selling a bit cheaper there as you can see on the far back there we do have the quad bikes that i was telling you about and here we have the KL, KL, klrs oh man my l number was in because i said you but uh, hey 
we do what we do uh, they also not only do they sell bikes but they also sell um gear they do have a gear shop uh she told me in karen and they sell not only gear but also service parts let's say for example you're looking for a part for zx10r and you you scoured the or maybe you, you don't know where to look in the internet you can just give them a call maybe they can even order some parts for you because whatever they have here they do have the service parts for them as uh, she has told me now another thing is that the reason why these bikes are so expensive uh, expensive in quotes is that the bikes uh, the Kenyan system, the, the Kenyan, Kenyan government uh, governing ways of things of importing is that they've put such a heavy um, taxation point on imports that come into Kenya that makes it a bit difficult for such guys or such people like uh, um, Africa, not, not Africa, it's called Ego Diaries, but such people like uh, Moto ADV to actually bring price here. So they really they incur a lot of cost when it comes to importing such bikes. Uh, remember they're all, they're all duty paid, they're all Kenyan registered. If you'd like to actually search them on the, the NTSA website, you can always come down here, uh, which is was a bit a uh, hidden place to be honest. Uh, you can always come down here and check the, uh, check the bikes out. You can always uh, take a picture of the license plate, go and search, you do a search and find that it will be, it is actually is registered uh, on the KR, no, no, the NTSA uh, website. We had quite a talk uh, with her uh, concerning the way forward or how the motorcycling industry has grown over uh, in Kenya over the period of years. Uh, she's actually, I like, I like how, I like the conversation. I wish I had recorded it. I wish you would allow me to record, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, so I really had some fun here. Uh, it's a place that I've always wanted to come and check out for myself. The bikes, are, they actually look pretty brand new. I mean, despite some few blemishes, which can be, uh, for example, you can see some square four marks on the, on the handlebars and some chipping of paint a bit there. But the bikes are in like pristine condition. I you wouldn't get a bike like this uh, anywhere else apart from here. Is this, is this a Ninja? It looks like a Ninja 650R. Yeah, I think it is. Um, or 636. I'm not sure. But uh, I really do like here. Uh, These are Honda CBR 600R. Man, I wish you guys can see. Um, I wish you guys were here to see um, the things that they are now. The other thing about they, they also have flexible uh, payment plans whereby you pay a 40% deposit and uh, the payment can be, uh, or rather the flexible payment is uh, stretched out up, across six months. And uh, the, the reason is, is that uh, motorcycles are expensive and not a lot of people can afford them. That's why they have such uh, flexible plans. Now the thing that you should know once you come here, uh, you are not allowed to, um, you can touch the bike but you cannot sit on the bike. Reason being, um, anything can happen, you can drop the bike. As you can see, if this one toppled over, uh, it would be like a domino effect whereby this one would fall, this one would fall. And mind you guys, there aren't any, there are no dealers in Kenya, for example, for Yamaha, Kawasaki or even Suzuki here for such bikes. So if the bike happened to fall, you would, they would have to incur the cost of replacing the part and repairing the parts, which can be a bit expensive. That's why it's better safe than sorry. So uh, you really have to, those are some of the rules that they have here. And also there are no test rides. Um, once you buy the bike, it's officially yours, but you're also guaranteed that once the bikes come from, once the bike gets from Kenya, you are sure that they are also, they have been checked out, uh, they, they, are, they are in pristine condition, uh, there is no issues whatsoever with the engine or, a, or any electrical feature that the bike might have. But just in case, um, you know, things may happen, uh, mistakes are made, just in case, they are always kind enough to like, uh, make it a bit easier on you. Uh, what have I left out? Uh, I think that's all. That's all that we have. We did. We did. We had quite a long talk. I, I think it was around 45 minutes or so. It was an interesting talk. I really like. Uh, I like the service. Like I said once again, it's the best so far that I've seen. I wish um, a lot of more people would actually come here and ask these questions and actually understand why the bike is like that, why the pricing is like that. Is it a beaking or something? I'm not sure. And look at that, that cross. That cross. No, that's of course that that's called there. Pretty dope. These bikes look almost like brand new. Actually, come to understand why uh, such things 
or rather why they do things the way they do here I like that and actually it's pretty interesting and i wish you guys would come here it's it's a it's a bit hidden as you saw the way i was maneuvering around that small marron road uh it was it's a bit hidden so that's all that i well, that's all that i can say about here you can the, the service here is actually commendable it's actually the best service that you can get you actually get the worth uh your money's worth uh, yeah as you can see we have an mt07 here we have the xv uh, sv650 what's it called uh, i've forgotten the name but this is the new sv650 oh sf sorry sf650 uh, that was produced after the the normal 650 that we know we do have some uh ultra gs we do have some adv bikes here uh, i can see that a lot of bikes here are klrs it's not bad i mean they're, they're the most common here uh, in the in the US market but they also say they do have plans on bringing um, smaller CC bikes um, because the Kenyan market the Kenyan market is diversifying uh, it used to be everybody wanted a sport bike now people have known uh, there are other forms of bikes uh, we have the Aprilia uh, right there we do have the naked the Suzuki yeah, Suzuki Beacon or whatever whatever it is we do there are also diversity um, there's a diverse form of bikes out there now this is a bike that i've always wanted rather i aspire to have the uh is it a honda nc 700 x now that's a bike you know fun fact that it has a false tank uh, meaning that the tank at the front is not a tank but the tank is uh, uh, rather it's under the pillion seat interesting right so as you can see this is all there is if you're interested you can always reach them out um you can always reach them out on Facebook. Facebook, there's a number that I will post it down in the comment section. Oh, no, not the comment, but in the description. And the link to their website whereby you can see all these bikes. You can ask as many questions as they have. They always find time to respond, uh, no matter how uh, long it takes, but they will get back to you. Uh, remember, this has been your YouTube channel, which brings you great and epic motorcycle content. Uh, do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you're updated whenever we post a new episode. Thank you so much for 320 something plus subs. We are growing substantially well and soon we will get to that 500 uh, mark. And uh, let's keep growing, keep sharing the video, keep sharing, keep watching, keep learning. Uh, thank you so much. Ride safe, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Also, big shout out to Motorcycle um, ADV for uh, allowing me to film and allowing me to ask the many questions that I ask. If you guys know me, I usually ask a lot of questions. Uh, thank you so much to them. And also, if you, like I said, if you have anything that you'd want to ask, I will post their details down in the description box so that you can see. Now, until next time, ride safe, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.